On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up Godzilla vs. Kong, Monsterverse, Battle Roar, Godzilla and Kong figures sent to me by Playmates Toys. There's no greater destruction than when Godzilla and Kong do their vocal warm-ups. Scott vs. Box! This is Godzilla vs. Kong Monster vs. Battle Roar figures. Yeah! Sent to me by Playmates Toys, who are um, very grateful to, and clearly, they're hidden away in a nice little bunker where they don't feel the destruction of Godzilla and Kong. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm glad the hits just keep on coming. We got the movie, which was awesome. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's super fun. And while you're watching it, play with these figures. These figures are super cool looking. Uh, they're available now. Uh, what do we got? We've got Godzilla vs. Kong. That's the thing. Follow it on all the social medias. Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can also use hashtag Godzilla vs. Kong. And there's PlaymatesToys.com. But look at this. We've got Godzilla. We've got Kong. And they make battle sounds. So let's see. Let's do a little preview. Let's see. Oh, right. I can press it on the back here. He's growling. You hear that? That is a growl. And that is awesome. <gasps> and his mouth opens up. Oh, we're going to show all this off. This is rad. Okay. So, battle roar, battle roar. Let's open up Godzilla first because we've got to attach his tail. This is too big. It's too big. You got to attach it. So, it's cool. Like, if you're in the store and you see it, there's the try me button. You can try it. And it's doing all that. So, that's cool. Hopefully, you don't get warned that some kid's like, I'm going to press it for four hours. And you're like, yeah, get out of here. I don't want to replace the batteries. So, let's take a look. So fun. So fun. Such a good time. This was such a fun, fun movie. And I'm glad there are more toys. I'm glad there's more figures. Hopefully they haven't stopped. Hopefully there's more. And they're like, we got we got tons more on the way. But yes, please. More destruction. Some some cities maybe you can destroy and demolish. Although you could just do that with dishes around the house. That's a terrible idea. It's a terrible idea. Unless you like, uh, you live alone and you're like, I'm tired of these dishes. I'm going to buy new ones. Then go ahead and do that. But otherwise, don't do your dishes. Maybe some paper plates. Maybe paper plates. Maybe. They just don't make a cool sound. So here's Godzilla's tail. Cool. Cool. And then we're going to attach. And then it just goes right in. Go right in there. There it goes. Right into place. Look at the look at the scales. They've got this cool blue metallic glow going through them, as though the power is coursing through his veins. He's gonna blast everybody. But this is red. So okay. So he's got the button right up by his right arm. His mouth opens. All right. So I'm gonna show this off first here. So as you press the button, he's roaring. That's so cool. So okay. Let's look at the figure. Look at the nice detail. It's awesome. He's in full battle mode right here. He is lit up and he's angry as he's ready for clawing and kicking. But now let's do the battle sound so you can hear him. Let's do it right here. This is awesome because now you don't have to go horse trying to do them all. If you're like, I'll recreate it. Can't do it. Don't have to. Now you got a, a roaring Godzilla right there. That is so cool. I love it. Now, let's deal with Kong. Let's break Kong out of here. Oh, it's like he's on a boat and mad. I didn't give away much in the movie. He's on a boat at one point. All right, we've seen it in the trailer. Don't get mad at me. He's on a big old boat. Possibly a ship because a boat is tiny. And Kong is huge. Let's get him out of here. Don't want to ruin the figure. Just cut him out. He's attached on all the limbs. Ooh, this is cool. Who are you rooting for, by the way, in Godzilla vs. Kong? It was a toss-up for me. At times, I was like, you know, Godzilla, you're acting like kind of a jerk. I think I sympathize with Kong. And then at times, I'm like, all right, Kong, why don't you talk through your emotions instead of using your fists? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. 
we're talking about Kong here. And I rooted for them both. And then ultimately, there was a reason to root for both. Because Millie Bobby Brown got in the way. (laughs) No, she didn't get in the way. She's adorable. She's helping out, doing her thing in the movie. Uh, But yeah, highly recommend checking it out. Having a good old time. These figures, get out of there, Kong. Get those tootsies out. So close. Got them. All right. Woo, his feet turn. Look at them turning feet. That's nice. Your feet turn? Godzilla's feet turn too. How about the hands? None of the hands. It's up and down. (laughs) But we got some feet turning action. And that stands up just perfectly fine, which I do enjoy. And then Kong. Oh, he's got the battle scars. Oh, he's just mad. He's just super mad. Look at him. He looks awesome. Mouth opens, giving you the battle roars. Ooh, that's awesome. So, yeah, the fist turn. Got all that so you can do some punching. Punching from different angles. Or just all supposing like at the beach like, ladies, this is cool. And then there's a little part in the back. You can unscrew this in case you ever need to replace the batteries. Because you're having so many battle roars. Let's hear his battle roars. These all sound like me after I drank a soda, too. Just blah, blah, blah. This is so cool. I, I thought it couldn't get any better. It does, because they're battle roaring. Yeah, and they fight. Ah, they're fighting. And they slam. Boosh. And then grabs him by the tail. Whips him around. And then they're still battle roaring. And then he bites him in the throat. Ah, does that and then slams it to the ground and they go, ah, why are we fighting? Hey, we should just watch our movie. Yeah! Godzilla versus Kong! Battle roar! Kong, Godzilla, who will you have win? Thanks so much for watching Scott vs. Box. Oh, what a fun time we had. Man, there are more unboxings to come. I assure you, they're all piled up next to me, but they're coming soon. Subscribe so that way you never miss out. Also, be sure to hit the bell so you get a notification whenever there's a new video. And then did you know on Fridays, I do Scott vs. Food? That's right, I do food reviews. So you'll never miss out on all the good stuff here at Scott vs. Box. (sighs) 